So um, we have geo folks that sit in the individual countries who are thinking about things like what are the exact publisher I'm going to recommend and what's my country's exact channel mix. So what I do is, and my team, we put together working with the rest of the HQ companies, what's the right global media strategy that the local teams can adapt and we try to push our capability and media forward in a variety of places. So it might be about our holistic measurement framework, it might be about our programmatic solution, it might be about you know, how we work with the agency and measure success there. Great to have you at Mobilenomics. Thank you. A lot of exciting things happening with mobile. But let's talk a little bit about how after the excitement and all the shiny stuff in mobile, the hard work of integrating it into the day-to-day -day legacy structure of how you plan and buy advertising. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, because um, I'm going to say the, the question of should it be planned in a silo, should it be planned integrated, and of course the answer is it should be integrated in, but I'm also going to acknowledge how difficult that is and I'll expand on that because it is hard for a large brand that has a variety of agencies and a variety of different departments to say, let's get ahead and understand the customer journey and let's think about not only the role of paid advertising and mobile in there or in television and search, but also about what are we going to do with the .com? What are we going to do with our own properties and what we're seeing in social? What about the PR element? So pulling that out together and tying that all together is no easy feat. It is an integration at that level. Is it a big challenge for marketers? And how do you do it? How do you? How, what, what are sort of the first steps to looking at that silo situation versus integration? How do you get everyone to yeah. hold hands and figure it out? Um, we are finding religion in this space, and we actually have de just recently put some dedicated folks in there whose job it is to pull all these groups together so we have these conversations and don't have them on the side, but we have them collectively. Because eventually you'll get to these answers where you say, so what is the role, what's search going to do for us, and what is the role of DOCOM? Eventually you'll get to, the, to those answers for the campaigns to come out the door. But the point is to have those upstream so everyone is aware of them and it can, we can and think about the right connection points between the different paid channels and paid media and PR and paid media and the web and understand those uh, sooner than later. What's the fun part of doing that? Well, it, it is, I mean, if you can crack that, you know, things really start to fall into place and it is fun to understand what's going on with the uh, customer journey because there's no, it's changing. It's changing every day and, and how customers are thinking about our products and the way they find information about it. It's not just from us, it's from a variety of sources. So um, it, it's, if you love marketing and you love marketing challenges, uh, that is a big marketing challenge. So it's exciting to try to stay on top of that and deliver solutions that actually are gonna make sense for your audience and make sense for your business. From your perspective, a lot of people come talk to you about new innovations. Um, they want to get on your radar about um, this new element, this new platform on mobile, this new app and the like. What do you think is out there that's interesting, that you're excited about, that you see? Mm, you know, I, I, a lot of people talk about individual um, innovations and different uh, solutions that they have, but what I would like to say, what I think is interesting out there is um, companies who are integrating mobile into everything, a uh, core of what they are, and there's no distinction between how they're thinking of it as an advertising channel or their product offering. So let's talk about Xiaomi for a second. Xiaomi is not as known, well known in the US, but it's huge in Asia. They are out appling Apple in China. And one of the things that they do interesting, and in, in Asia, there is no desktop versus mobile conversation, right? It's all mobile. So one of the things that they're doing really well is they are using um, a conversation with their customers to decide very quickly, what are the next kind of iterations we should be building into our products? What are the improvements and what, what is it that you want? They're doing that on a rapid pace for rapid pace innovation. And then they're creating this sort of notion of scarcity. So they, they'll build those into their products and they'll put it out there and it'll be like fire sale. This is only available for the next 60 minutes and it, it creates a frenzy and people want to kind of get these products and this, so that's how you hear these stats where Xiaomi has just sold millions of phones in the last, you know, one hour um, because they, they seem to understand like mobile and customer response and kind of are connecting that all together um, and it's, it's not separate from what they're building and who they are, it's just integrated in part of it.